this is the original skull of the Max's, um, I guess what, house bar, I mean house yeah. mug. Yep. Yeah. And it's based off of one of the Ward Warehouse, Ward Warehouse. carvings that right. I did right. for the restaurant. And as you can see, this one's in plaster, the original piece. So it's solid. So this is what. Oh, so it's solid all the way right. through. But you carve this. Is this the original carving? Is it carved out of clay or? This this one is the original. That's yeah. the original. So you right. carved it out of plaster. Yes. Oh, very yeah. nice. Oh, look, look at this. You can see the shrinkage. That's how much it shrinks. Right. right. And right. this is cone 06. Now cone six will shrink down to about here because cone six shrinks about 15 percent. So that's right. I mean that's when you see this. It's like, oh my gosh, that's a big tiki mug. But right, that's right. Cool. Yeah. But when okay. it shrinks, yeah. So yeah. We'll so good. when you create the mold for this, you create it. The mold is also plaster. The mold is plaster. Yeah. Correct, yeah. And yeah. so so you have making... to seal the plaster right, skull right. in order to make the mold. Otherwise, you have a big block of plaster. Right. So right. Gotcha. I yeah. made that mistake. That's why I was asking. Right. Right. Yeah. And you yeah, separate. Yeah. Do you use do you use soap for your yeah, separate? Yeah. Yeah. I soap it. Yeah. yeah. I just soap it up yeah. and okay. And then, cool. And then pour it. Um, and you can do clay also. Um, and then after you make your mold, you can pour a plaster. As long as you soak the inside of the mold, you can pour a plaster in the mold, yeah. and you will have you another master. You can also do you can right, yeah. you can do do with cold water. You can do wax. So that's right, right. right. And we were wax. doing bronze. Right. So. Either way. Okay. To me, this is thrilling because I got hired here basically to work with other artists, and I'm slowly developing my line tiki's too. But here. I have had the pleasure wow. of spending two days wow. in Tiki Land and Max's yeah, yeah, yeah. with these guys. There you go. Incredible. Oh, we, we are colleagues, right? Yep, yep, yep. Colleagues, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Oh, no, 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 I know, I know. Oh, right. so, so we get to make the ball. This is just a red slip. Uh, this will turn out like a nice gold, nice brown color. I thinned it down because that's what Gecko was telling me. He wants to thin down because there's a special spot we poured in. We're pouring in slowly. You don't want it. We will have machines here with pumps on them eventually. That's what we got to do. But they're still they're still at my studio in Rockford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to go right up to the top. Uh, how long do you let it set? Um, I've never did high fire uh, okay. set. Uh, I this usually stuff, do about an hour. Oh, hour. this stuff is like eight minutes. Oh, no, oh this stuff, no, it's this. This is longer. So yeah. you can actually watch this go down. You know, mm -hmm. What happens now, this liquid, it's clay in it. And what happens is the plaster sucks out all the water. Okay, so it makes a deposit on the inside. Right. So it's right. the same. That's right. what it is. So that's what'll go down. And then, uh, and then we'll back pour it and uh, let it sit for I don't know how long you let it sit. Uh, mine usually because I'm the only one yeah. working. Sometimes I have somebody working. We'll wait uh, several hours or even the next day. Yeah, that's, and, it's, uh, that's it's, the next day is usually what I do. And it depends how wet you are. Right, right. Depends on how outside. Okay, but it also depends on your environment because yeah. you have and a more humid, humid environment where right. you're right. right. I can, yeah, I can open right. it earlier. Right. Here, yeah, you probably right. won't. Be able to. So now this, if you tip this over, now imagine this. So the slip will get stuck right here. So right. when we pour it out. We got to pour it out. Okay, we got to pour it out like that. Then we got to come back, and go back here, and right. pour this out. Yeah. Gek has already warned me about that. So yeah. So. For our listeners out there, again, if you want to see what we're talking about here visually, check out the webpage DesertOasisRoom.com or the group page inside the Desert Oasis Room at Facebook. I enjoyed watching you guys talk at the bar last night because I remember when Gecko was telling you about that part of the mug that actually gets really heavy for the base if it's not poured out correctly, right? Right. right. Because there's that thin portion. Right, that thin right. portion, right? Yeah, right. And then there. what happens is this so. just gets solid clay and then this will get sucked in and then basically you, you'd start over. So, so if, you're, if you're a beginner, just pouring a mold and back pouring it, yeah, you, you won't be able to come out with a nice piece. What's really nice, they're five piece molds. There's one for each side and then one for the bottom because there's a dish on the bottom, okay? Right. Okay, and so with the names. Uh, I'll see these hideaways. First time I saw that. Nice. Right. Very nice. I haven't seen this. This is great.
or my say made in Hawaii. Yours won't. <laughs> made in Michigan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, so we are bringing ceramics back to yeah, the USA. He's already right. doing it, but there it is. okay, these aren't made in China. These right. are made yeah, in right. Michigan. These are made in Michigan, Grand Rapids. So as you see, the made in Hawaii is no Authentic longer there. Authentic tiki. Right, right. Sorry. Authentic tiki. So Gecko, what was the inspiration for the design? Um, well, the inspiration was uh, based off of one of my carvings that I did, you know, on the ward. If you see the 30 tiki's that I carved, um, I'm just actually doing uh, mugs off of some of those carvings. And they're perfect. It's like I love to see that we'll have a mug. You can be sitting at the bar and having a, sitting there and right, looking right. at the one. That's right. it right there. Right, right, I would like to do a whole right. series with yeah. that, and that would be inspiration. You know? So would I. <laughs> Yeah, I think that we talked a little bit about that last night in the bar, right, Gecko? Just kind of going down the wall right. and doing one of each. You, you've got a lot of material there to work with. and there's we got a couple lots of, of cool. Yeah, there's a lot, lot of cool a designs month, over there. Every yeah. couple of, bi-monthly, bi maybe we should yeah. come out with one. It'd be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> me, me and the doc are going to be working hard <laughs> to bring you guys. So That's really right. Let me That's tell right. you a story about the doc. It was so funny. I was, I came here at midnight, okay? And this is kind of crazy, you know, some characters out here, right? And there's some guys, and they're, they're ones going through the dumpsters. And, and I show up with my white hair and my rainbow glasses, and they thought I was from Back to the Future. <laughs> yeah, I swear yeah, to God. Yeah, they, yeah. they were like, whoa! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They was looking for the car. Right? Was, was, the car? And then they called me Doc, and I'm like, what did, did I realize that guy? Yeah, yeah, that's the future. That's right. perfect name. Doc Brown. <laughs> so I'm here at Grand Rapids. We have the doc making you guys. <laughs> but but your but he's but you didn't correct him and say no. I'm the rainbow professor. I did. I, said, I am the, the rainbow, rainbow professor. <laughs> <laughs> Soon to be the tiki professor yeah. after yeah. I study yeah. under the masters. Uh, there, right we right right there we go. There we go. Get going the doc. So as you can see, it, it's it's already gone down about three eighths of an inch. Okay, you can see it's getting sucking. It's just sucking down. The clay's getting deposited on the inside. How do you know when it's time to pour out? Um. Well, with me. I, is it just I'm, timing? I'm always adding to mine. Yeah. So I you can don't have see space. how thick the walls get. Yeah. Right, so right. If the mold is wet, it doesn't matter how how long you keep it in yeah. there. It's gonna so you take a plastic smoke. tool and you can scrape the side, like yeah. right there. Okay. Now it's only that thick. So it's already that thick. That's oh, not thick enough, okay? Yeah, yeah, we gotta have about like, almost three times as thick as that, right? Like hair, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's what we gotta do it. Because it does shrink. That, that, Builds pretty quick. Yeah, actually, this was not a commercial glaze. We got we got this from an artist, and he's actually a good mold maker too. He oh. makes these really cool things. He's inspired by he's a young kid, oh. right? Thirties. Oh. He's inspired by Star oh. Wars. He said, "My goal is to make the dinnerware for Star Wars movies," oh. <laughs> and he does some really cool stuff. So yeah, so um, so this was his slip, and then we did that. We're working on that. We're still learning. Oh. So, So the fire just came out yesterday. This is actually still a little bit warm. That's a that's a bronze glaze. That's a commercial glaze. But then we put some Panama blue in the middle, and it gives us a little leopard skin. Right. In Potter's term, that would be oil spotting. But with mid-century ceramics, it's leopard skin. <laughs> and I can still feel the warmth oh, yeah. coming out of this kiln. I'll give it a glove. All right. So here's a tiki bowl that just came out. The sides are extruded. These are all handmade. And then I decided not just tell me how people love the names on it. So I put Max's right on it. Right. Okay. And then I put this crystal magic glaze underneath it and then this tiki gold on top. Okay. And then the name of the glaze inside is Panama, Panama Blue. So I think it's fitting for us. Got the Max's stamp on it. Yeah. That's the, that's for the smaller tiki one. This one warped it and we're still getting it, but it warped a little bit, but it looks like a clamshell to me. So I love it. And it'll work. I mean, it'll oh, work it'll in the bar. You know, people will love that. So, and then these are all just tests. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be hot, man. And they're hot. So, let me get another glove. Now, in a ceramic kill, you can't use metal supports or anything like that. Everything's gotta be refractory, right. so it's basically bricks. Because metal would all warp and crack and burn and ruin all the glazes. 
So we started with three Bailey's kills. Oh, and there's a seafood platter, and I just added some blue to it. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's fantastic. This is like Christmas time. <laughs> oh, and so then the one tiki I gave you was what I experimented with. Now look at this one. I really put it on there. Look at that. Now there is some leopard skin blue. That is fantastic. Color. And I love the Max's name up on top. I mean, a lot of these, you just walk around Max's and you see the images. I mean, it's like, I don't have to go to a museum. I just go next door. <laughs> Those look hot. <laughs> Both. <laughs> They're hot and visually hot. Look at that. Look at that. Like, sweet. So you put the glaze in there, then you, with the texture, you rub it off. Um, and it's really fun. The bolts we just pulled out, um, we had to get these out sooner. We had to get more out. So these first ones, we actually cast. I did a, this is an extrusion. Then we made these, press molded these and press molded these on. But these take a little bit longer in the dry. Okay, and stuff like that. So we made the volcano separate. So after 60 years of making art, we had to make, I had to do make volcanoes, which is one of the first <laughs> things they teach kids to do. So I just love this. But look at this. Look at this little grass, the, the trees around here, and look at this little atoll around here. Look at that. I, I just, that, and that was pure accident. That was just pure art. Yeah. It looks like a reef. I know. Like, like, like a submerged like, little reef. I know. It's like, I just was like, oh my gosh, that's beautiful. And some of them actually, in the glaze kill, because we made them separate, the glaze gets shiny and it actually moves. So yeah, it just slid yeah. over. Yeah. So, having fun. And these bowls are cool. I love how these tiki's just kind of jut out from the side. Well, when you're doing, you, you form them. You, you, you blend them right in. It's wet clay, so you know, that's what I've been doing all my life. Um, back before there were mission statements, <laughs> okay and you know back in the 70s when i had my studio steve martin was big okay, okay. right and he had the song and it was a song about people get up at 7 30 in the morning go down to work at the drugstore to sell big pins <laughs> and i get paid for doing this <laughs> I, it was a little quotation about this big i put it on my door so every day i walked out of the studio no matter if it's a bad day okay i get paid for doing this <laughs> it's like so i'm like thrilled with this opportunity Okay, we're waiting for the art, get the artist's designs. I said, just give me some mold to work with. He said, hey, take these cannibals, make some kind of mold with this. So we just did a very simple mold with cannibals just to learn the mold process again. When I did my diners, mine were very simple molds. I didn't have to worry. Right. I could spend a lot of time cleaning up because they weren't that many. I didn't make that many of them. So then we started doing these to learn the process. Then we detailed them a little bit more with curves on them. We still, still, still aren't happy with it, okay? And then we came to this. This is a bis piece, ready to get glazed. This is from one of, and my research was going into 59 Carmers and looking at Mark's collection. I didn't need to go to any museum anywhere. <laughs> okay, because it was right here. And so we've been sculpting these. My assistant's Olivia Hoffman. Uh, my wife teaches at Aquinas College. Okay. And uh, she's been teaching there for 20 years, and Olivia's one of her best students ever. She just graduated BFA. And I have all this energy and I get all this form done and she comes in and details it. <laughs> we are a perfect complement. It, it's a really good relationship. <laughs> Help, let me out! Oh, look at these. <laughs> the scream. Okay, so I haven't, this is like, when I started doing research on a tiki, I kept hearing about the scream and tiki. Well, I'm an artist and I know art my whole life. I'm going, I know another guy that screams. <laughs> so it just there seemed to make sense. So this is a sculpt, this is raw clay. This is actually, this is just raw clay, uh, solid clay, low fire clay that I do take molds off of, okay? Um, then Mark also said, I'm working with other artists. Gecko, he brought his mold today. We're gonna start casting that. Where I got other artists we're working with too. So we're, we're gonna be production studio to produce all mm -hmm. that. I'm working with the artists gonna go on. But he said, to make our work's gotta look unique, and I went through all the history. I look at all, everybody saw Tiki's and they always did a Tiki Bob. Well, yeah, I'm right. making sure they know this is Tiki Max. <laughs> oh, there you go. This is Max. <laughs> it's got its name right on it. So this is just a start. We're nice still working at that. And I used a caulking tube for my support inside. <laughs>